why i had to join ttdba was because i was doing uh, machine learning projects in my company and i realized that i was missing the logic and core mathematics behind it and i wanted to understand why i am doing this and uh, like what is the intuition behind it career at isro is very much sought out after in india but it kind of became monotonous and colorless for me after some years so being ptdba the best course in india for business analytics i thought i should give it a try and started preparing for it Hi my name is Dinesh I completed my graduation in BTech in IT in the year 2020 from VJTI in Mumbai I began my journey in analytics with three fantastic years at Fractal where I worked as a data analyst and tackled complex real world problems in the CPG domain After that for close to one year I worked at EXL as an analytics consultant where I worked on deriving deeper business insights this time in the insurance domain and now i am pursuing pg dba to further hone my skills to become an all-rounded professional see working in analytics allowed me to work on practical tools like sql for data wrangling python for data manipulation and power bi for data visualization but pg dba is giving me a chance to further deepen my skill set i am now learning about advanced statistical approaches and methods which i didn't fully explore before like time series forecasting or machine learning models beyond regression So while I knew a small part of analytics, PG DBA is helping me add a lot of sophistication to my skill set. For CSIT folks, you already have a programming background, so it would be slightly advantageous for you in this course. But be prepared to think beyond code because this course focuses more on the why behind the numbers. So my advice would be to brush up on basic mathematical concepts like probability and linear algebra because we use them on a regular basis here. Also I would say keep an open mind about the business. because this course is a harmony of technical skills as well as business applications and hey enjoy it because it's a challenging but incredibly rewarding program Hi everyone my name is Gaurav Malani I have around 3 years of work experience in data analytics from IQVIA why I had to join PTDBA was because I was doing uh, machine learning projects in my company and I realized that I was missing the logic and core mathematics behind it and I wanted to understand why I'm doing this and uh, like what is the intuition behind it so then I searched some courses online like what I can do either I can pursue a PG or I can you know look for some online courses then I realized that in India um, you have to have to you know study uh, to gain that proper knowledge and insights so I looked up some uh, higher higher studies courses and then i came across pgdba which i decided to you know try out i gave the pgdba exam and then luckily i got in so i also gave cat as an alternative but uh, and i also received offers from exile delhi and i am shillong but i eventually chose pgdba because it aligned with my interest more and as i said that i wanted to dwell into the analytics field and learn more about the geometric intuition and the science behind it so that's why i chose pgdba Hello everyone. My name is Kaushik. I'm a student of PG Dibya Batch Ten. We are currently at the ISI Kolkata. I graduated from ISC Shipur in 2022. Post that, I worked in Adobe uh, as a technical consultant in MarTech domain for two years in Bangalore. Where my responsibilities include uh, devising and implementing uh, cross-channel marketing strategies, uh, collaborating with diverse teams, and devising solutions for the clients as per the requirements. And along with this work, additionally, uh, I am spoke for uh, Adobe uh, employee engagement activities and CSR activities. While I was working at Adobe as a technical consultant, so I used to solve problems which are confined to a particular domain. So I want to expand my horizon, and I want to uh, solve problems which are related to advanced techniques such as AI and ML. So uh, by pursuing this course, PG DBA, which is technically relevant, I'll be solving more uh, advanced problems. Uh, as a consultant, I used to work in market domain, and mostly the learnings which I got are through experience or through the seniors. So I was looking for a more formal education where I'll gain technical skills and where I'll get to know what happens behind the scenes when we are solving the business problem. So the PG DBA course will uh, teach me analytical methods which will help me to make more calculated decision making. So initially I started my preparation through CAT. So uh, after the preparation of the CAT mostly you'll co- cover the things which you need for the LRDA section and the VRC section. And for the quant I have gone through the basic uh, formulas and problems of calculus and conic section which are not part of the cat syllabus and mostly I have gone through the formulas and basics uh, from internet and from ncert books and post that I have also gone through the previous year question papers to understand the standard of the questions 
and for the interview preparation of this program i have gone through all the basics of linear algebra probability and statistics hi my name is niranjan hirwadkar i graduated from iit bombay in 2022 with a degree in chemical engineering i also cleared cfa level 1 examination that year Prior to joining this course, I worked at PwC US Advisory as an analytics consultant. Over there, I realized that I was lacking in-depth knowledge in data science, so I decided to join this PGDBA program. At this program, we learn statistics at ISI Kolkata, analytics techniques at IIT Kharagpur, and business topics at IIM Calcutta. I am confident that after this course, I can take up top and challenging projects at top firms of our country. Hello, I am Saini. I come from a place called Baramati from Pune. I graduated as an electronics engineer from College of Engineering Pune. Post that I worked for more than 5 years in oil and gas industry. I worked as an uh, area sales manager at HPCL for more than 3 years. I handled more than 40 plus petrocom dealerships in and around Pune city. After working as an area sales manager, I uh, then shifted to a startup called as Repos Energy where I worked as a program manager handling multiple projects, launching new business models. building and growing up the teams and taking multiple business driven decisions so throughout my career which i have worked in the business driven roles i have been observed and i have experienced myself that majority of the business strategy decisions that are being taken they are usually taken on the basis of the intuitions or the experience that they have gathered over the years but eventually i have realized that these decisions that are being taken basis the intuitions or the experiences there's definitely some science behind the trend of the industry that we see how it is growing there's definitely some science behind how the market reacts to your business decisions and from a very long time i had been always inclined towards this particular technological part of the business and then i thought that this particular course aligns with what i actually was inclined towards and this will definitely be an apt course for uh, driving my career into a techno managerial role so for the examination part uh, prepare well on the 10 plus 2 level mathematics problems solve as much as practice problems this will definitely help you again in the interview part apart from the mathematics you can revise and prepare well on the current affairs which are related to your profile this is definitely going to help you in the interview part so i was someone who was out of studies from a very long time so i opted for an online course which helped me to have a very disciplined way of my preparation and i could complete this in a very short period of time despite having uh, the uh, hectic work hours so if you are someone who are currently working i would say that this exam is easy but despite having an hectic work hours you can easily manage to crack this exam hello i am kushal joshi i have done my btech in electrical and electronics engineering from nit nagpur During my BTech I pursued some of the online courses on data science which helped me land in data science role and since past 2.5 years I was working as a data scientist in supply chain domain During my job I realized that I was lacking some in-depth knowledge of this field and moreover I realized that to excel in this field one needs to have a very strong background in academia in obviously in this field so that's why I gave PGDBA this year and and see here am i you just need to have data science mindset as well as interest in data science so data science background is what your interviewer will see uh, which will tell them that you have interest in this field and definitely the knowledge is not at all important everything you will learn here only i am a data scientist then uh, we have a rocket scientist from isro apart from that uh, we have teachers business analysts business consultants then we have some people from uh, upsc background like they have prepared for 2 to 3 years and then uh, pursuing pgdba uh, some of them are from core background as well and uh, some of them are freshers as well hi i am urja i graduated in 2023 with a bs ms in engineering science majoring in electrical and computer science and minoring in data science from the indian institute of science education research bhopal As a fresher I was drawn to this PGDBA program primarily because it brings together two uh, fields that I am really pas- passionate about which are data science and business. The PGDBA exam comprises of three sections uh, which are mathematics, BARC and DILR. If you have prepared for CAT exam or any MBA entrance exams then you are good to go for the DILR and BARC section as they are pretty much similar. For the mathematics section I was J means uh, YouTube videos and practiced it with the sectional test series. Also I would suggest taking mock test be- at least one month before the exam so you can gain confidence and refine your time management skills. The PGDB program is run by three incredible institutes which are IIM Calcutta, ISI Kolkata and IIT Kharagpur. 
So spending one semester at each of these three institutes offers a unique mix of learning opportunities. We get an in-depth understanding about the statistics and the data science from ISI and IIT Kharagpur and gain invaluable business insights from the IIM Calcutta. So this is the exact balance that I was looking for since I wanted to remain rooted in the data science domain rather than going for a traditional MBA program, making this program a perfect choice for me. Hello, my name is Vasu. I joined PGDBA program in 2024. Before that, I was working in ISRO as scientist engineer in ISRO Propulsion Complex, Mahendragiri. I worked there for five years and I studied in Indian Institute of Space Science and Technology. I have bachelor's degree in aerospace engineering. Although career at ISRO is very much sought out after in India, but it kind of became monotonous for me after some years. After COVID, I started to utilize my time very efficiently and effectively. I started to read various business magazines, various articles. I wanted to keep myself updated on the current technological world. I took courses from NPTEL also, and one of the courses introduced me to the world of AI and machine learning. As I dived deeper into the subject, I became more fascinated by it. So it kind of seemed to me that uh, AI and machine learning uh, can be my next career milestone. And uh, I was also fascinated by the world of business analytics. So being PGDBA, the best course in India for business analytics, I thought I should give it a try and started preparing for it. So far, I am enjoying my journey. My first few weeks at I am Calcutta were very enjoyable. The classes especially were more focused on active class participation. There were so many events lined up during that semester also. So I enjoyed my time at I am Calcutta and moving onwards to ISI. The classes are very much technical and very mathematically rigorous, but I so far I am enjoying the classes very much and I am very much looking forward to my IIT KGP semester where we will learn the implementation of these techniques. I would like to give very general advice in this case. If someone is interested in this field, he can pursue this course as business analytics is very hot topic right now. The career prospects are very huge uh, being the best course in India for the business analytics. Uh, it gives you exposure and technical skills required for this field. If someone is trying to switch from technical field to analytics field, this is one of the best courses to go for.